high atop a rugged hill in the heart of central France, an imposing mansion looms, its grandeur fading with each passing day. Once the prized vacation residence of a French millionaire, this sprawling estate now languishes in abandonment, its former glory nothing but a distant memory. Its halls once resonated with joy and a clinking of glasses. In early 2010, the tycoon had the ambition to convert this estate into a luxurious hotel to accommodate guests from afar. However, financial woes led to its demise in 2014. Today, we embark on a quest to uncover the forgotten tales that lie within its obscure walls. As daylight bathes the neglected manor, we explore its hidden depths, breathing life into its forgotten halls once more. Welcome back everybody on a brand new video. We're in France in a beautiful mountainous area. And we are actually inside the Millionaire's Mansion. Yeah, this Millionaire's Mansion lies on top of a hill. There is a wonderful view as you saw on the drone footage. And we're gonna explore it. It's a pretty modern mansion. Yeah, it's it also is. pretty it clean. Is. Although there is some signs of decay all around us here where we are sitting and parts of the ceiling that are falling down. That's for sure. And we actually don't have that much details, but still everything is left in a pristine condition. So Yeah, and we also haven't like done a walkthrough like, yet. So yeah, maybe yeah. we're gonna find more personal items, gonna find out more about mm -hmm. the story, we what we live there. We just two rooms. So it's the same as a surprise as it is for you, as it is for us. These so, are always the best videos, so... Without further ado, let's go on a su surprising journey and uh, yeah, let's explore this place. Go. Cool. Alright, so we're gonna start off at their dining area. And I need to say, this is the first thing that you see, at least that we saw, and you as well, and this is quite a beautiful space. So many chairs. Yeah. This was a big family living here. Mm -hmm. A well, wealthy family as well. <laughs> And what I'm really thinking is like, is it a vacation home or was it like their house house? I would definitely understand if it was a vacation home because it's a beautiful area to be here, exactly. to drive through and it would definitely be a good escape from busy city life or something. Yeah, 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 that's why. All the decorations, small drawing. Yeah, what is it? It's the stamp, stamp something. Yeah, it's a stamp, right? Okay, okay. You can tell the items are definitely more modern yeah, than the antiques are. we normally find. Yeah, definitely. But it's always nice to have a variety of places. As you can tell, yeah. And there's also a wow. difference if we don't have to wear a respirator for all the mold and debris inside a place. I'm wearing my gloves, but... Hey, look, cabellos. Yeah. And a nice all ornament over here. Well, over here, of course, some blankets. <laughs> I like the carvings mm -hmm. on this cabinet. And I really like this type of art because I never found it in a better place. Like, this is modern. Yeah, very art. abstract. <laughs> yeah, very abstract art. Yeah. Very modern art, indeed. What's inside here, actually? Um, some uh, sand or something? Uh, no, no, it's... it's um, uh, for a smell, it's lavender. They normally ah. put lavender inside. 
So it's like some kind of incense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Parfumé. It's actually crazy that the table is also still made up. Like, perfectly, very chic and elegantly. Like <laughs> the plates, the, the forks, the knives and the spoon. Just in accordance with the etiquettes. Yep. It's crazy. <laughs> like yeah, we could just, just step on and dinner and then... Yeah, and have dinner here. Yeah, then you're asking like, oh, but boys, is this place abandoned? Well... Here is your the floor. I mean, uh, don't think that people are caring about this anymore. It's definitely degrading at some points. And that's quite sad because this place could be very well livable oh, yeah. with minor fixes. Easily. Also look at these chandeliers over here. Beautiful, right? Yeah, they're pretty big. There are two of them. And on the sides of here we also have those little tables with marble plates. Hmm. Oh no, I can't open it up. No, no, no. <laughs> Nothing underneath it. Well, Still some person. burning wood inside here. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Let's check out what's in this room. <laughs> Very modern again. <laughs> yeah, it is, right? What will be the date on this newspaper? Now I'm pretty curious. 2014. All right, so that's still, it's that's still the last day, seven ago, uh, years. But you know, it's, it's like these people just literally, they vanished, they left in 2014. Because you can tell that there is not a lot left over here, especially also in this room. Besides some decorations, old televisions, <coughs> newspapers, of course. Ludwig van Beethoven. Oh, yeah. Is it even a vinyl or what is it? I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's vinyl. <laughs> some proper Beethoven. Some VHS tapes over here. Yep. The old movies, National Geographic. <laughs> It could very well be a vacation home, like you yeah, said. Yeah, 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 definitely is. Um, it's also labeled. This, this was definitely a vacation home. If I just look at it right now and the furniture that is left, then... There are not many personal items so far, so... So far? So, so far. far, so without those items of sentimental value, it looks like a place where they just came. Oh, but over here, maybe it's getting different. We have an office. And there are actually personal pictures over here. Of a woman. On the desk of a woman, indeed. Parametric du toucher. Yeah. Well, this was once filled with dossiers. Hmm. But yet, you know. An office with some pictures, but it's like all the essentials are gone. Yeah, there is definitely not much personal taste to this place. No, no, it's no. all very modern. You can definitely tell the dust. On yeah, the yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, there is a lot of dust. And again, some very modern artwork over here. Wondering what's behind these doors. These huh? doors on the sides. Oh. Ooh. Why would you put so many glasses inside your office? <laughs> then you're really an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. It's probably off to work. Uh, one glass, never cleaned it. Not lights, it's not working. Wouldn't have surprised me though if it did. Well, nothing to be found over here. What do we have here? Oh, wow. It's, okay, so this is leading to another staircase over here. And the basement. 
And the basements. But over here we have a kitchen first, right? Oh, have you seen this freaking industrial kitchen? Damn. Holy <laughs> crap. They definitely had people cooking for them over here. I think so. Damn. <laughs> I've never seen a kitchen like this in an abandoned property before. No, 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 absolutely not. Bro. This looks like a very industrial kitchen. Yeah, 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 yeah. This from is... a company. Yeah, yeah. A nice salt. <laughs> Cross the cell. Yeah, the pots and the pans, of course. Everything all normal is. things that you would expect from a kitchen. Yep. Also, we hear all those shapes for baking. Not sure if I can open it up more. No, you can't, but as you can see over here, we can see it uh, proper and clear. All the baking equipment. <coughs> it's quite strange, huh? An in industrial kitchen. Over yeah, there. I think the people were definitely millionaires, man. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this equipment in the kitchen. Puh. There is nothing in the fridge. Because there was a like trash can in front of it. But look at these latex gloves. Ugh. They <laughs> look really repulsive. Jikes. Pretty crazy kitchen, man. Yeah, man. First time seeing kitchen like that, so that's also nice for a difference. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, just... Huh? That's an industrial laundry. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like washing a uh, washer. Place gets stranger and stranger every single moment. There are some nose aware. What is this? Hmm. Things it's I about see. its furniture, I believe. No, the mayor. That's, That's the mayor. mayor Never seen a washer like this in an abandoned house. Yeah, it's a property different than Other any property we've ever done. Yeah. Jacket hanging up here. Yeah, well, this is definitely yet something different. Still some tapioca over here. Even some Nesquik. <laughs> Looks pretty old fashioned. What's here? Toilet, I believe, right? Yeah. All right. So then let's go to this point where we just crossed. Let's just go to the basement. Why not? We're here right now. Pretty large basement. No. And? No, I don't think something is still running. Yeah, 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 it is. You can hear it. Oh, wow. Wine storage over here. I also really like those chairs. Like, they were maybe once set up around the stable and they had a little man cave over here or something. Yeah, 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 exactly. Their own wine storage man cave. And over here you can definitely see some traces of mold. Yeah, it's way more humid in the basement, of course. <coughs> well, and then there is a bottle of vodka. Oh yeah, pure getting vodka. The Polonia, import from Poland. <laughs> also some more liquor over here. I think this was a little working parts, yep. Oh yeah. Some tools, 
Actually, not too much. So, could be another sign this was not a permanent living address. Mm, yeah, I think, don't think so, man. Just from very wealthy people. Dang. This is all... These are oh, freezers, right? Freezers, yeah. Look at all those copper pans over here. Yeah. Never seen so many copper pans in one place. Pots and pans. These people were definitely very wealthy, man. Quite amazed about this place, actually. Like, how strange it is. Yeah, it's definitely very peculiar. <laughs> All those cooling cells where and yeah. fridges. So strange. It's literally nothing. And I mean, the fire extinguisher is still just hanging. Yeah, fire extinguisher. Also, a strange place for it in the basement, but yeah. Yeah, if the cells of the cool cell overheat. Yeah, true. Oh. A huge storage, storage of uh, wood over wood, here. Yeah. It's a massive pile. Damn. Also, all the garden season, everything <laughs> would have definitely been very peaceful and relaxing sitting in a garden with such a wonderful view. People definitely lived out here, man. That's one thing for sure. I think that was it for the basement, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, besides that door over there, but... Then I'm following you back to the upstairs again. It was quite a big surprise, actually. Basement was big. Nothing in there? Nope. All right. Making a way up from the basement. And let's make a way over here to the hallway and I'm not quite sure hmm, if we really need to go upstairs over here. Now we should first show the other <coughs> features on this floor. Yep, exactly. On the ground floor. Well, then follow my lead, Moreno. Just some storage again. Medicine and everything, but nothing really exciting. No. Table tennis table. <laughs> and over here a toilet. <coughs> also the toilet looks it, it looks so in industrial. Yeah, just like a company or something, like a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Strange. Maybe this was one's like a home dining, you don't know. Is that a concept? Maybe. Otherwise it is now. You can grow very rich. <laughs> and then we're back in the main dining room. And attached to there is actually an area where they could enjoy some games. Yep, and this is actually the part where we also shot our intro. And as Marino is telling, over here is a, well, it's not a um, pool table. Or snooker, no, I believe? Snooker, yeah, it's a snooker table, yep. <laughs> the lamp, old television. The typical course, lambs above it. Yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, so many books. A lot of books stored there. It's unbelievable, man. Well, while you're watching this video, just leave a quick comment down below in the comment section if you want to see more places also like this. And I actually like the variety of places because today we actually did a very ancient castle from the 12th century and currently we're exploring a modern yeah. millionaire's mansion. You, you know, you can see, you know, we are not as that amazed, maybe more quiet um, because it's normally also that we know that you really like these old fashioned styled homes. But it's still interesting to see how other people also live. Exactly, exactly. And also find a kitchen like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The industrial kitchen was a big surprise, man. Honestly. 
Also the modern art over here. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a famous thing, man. Is it? Yeah, I've never yeah, seen yeah. it. Well, and over here you can just tell that this place is abandoned, like abandoned, abandoned. Oh, I believe this is actually a satellite image from this <laughs> area. Yep. Bird's eye perspective. And yeah, like Raymond said, this place is abandoned, abandoned. I mean, look at how that over there is rotting. All the paint is peeling. There are so many flies too. Flies are inside. It's like there is something rotting in here. Yeah. Something is rotting and definitely also leaking and causing a lot of damage on those windows over there. All right. <laughs> Quite nasty. Well then, let's go through that door over there because then you have a beautiful perspective <coughs> on the main stairway, uh, stair hall. I actually love this area. Look at it. It's massive in size. There is a private bar over there, staircase, even safari heads over here. Mm. I really like this private bar, man. Yeah. And also this. It's um, uh, the cream, man. It's the cream it up. It's for cocktails. It's so cool. It's crazy that they have a little bar mm -hmm. over here. Ooh, banana liquor. I remember that's from Italy, Mo. Yeah. <laughs> we had a good time with the banana liquor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is quite a nice place, man. I need to say, just take a look behind it. It's, it's, it's quite uh, cozy. It gives a very warm feeling. Oh, yeah. Over there, all the keys. <laughs> all the keys to the property. Yep. And What? What is it? Nah, this is not handwritten. Show it to me. If this is handwritten, then... 1860. Declaration of Congress. Alright, it's all about life rules or something, I believe. Words, for example, saying you shouldn't help with the salary. I don't know this word of your employer. Yeah, something like that. But look, Abraham Lincoln. Ah, yeah, th he definitely didn't throw this, but it's probably his life rules. Yeah, probably his declaration or something he made. Well, I like their safari hats. It's also something you not often find no. in abandoned places. Look at those shoes on the ground. These are very cool. They were definitely from a gentleman, uh, mm -hmm. probably the owner. It's cool, this man. Massive property. Owner of such a massive property, yeah, then you're definitely a gentleman. And so he was spacious over here, too. He was also in an elderly age. Walking canes. Walking canes everywhere. Well, the guy it's was a pretty, like. Uh, Tall one. Two meters or something, uh, the man must have been. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's over here? Side entrance, I believe. What well, yep. don't you think this was the main door? Uh, maybe. I mean, could, uh, could very well be the main door. No, I think this was the main door, actually. Yeah, definitely, because then they walked in here and they came in the main they came in the main hallway. Room. And then they immediately get a private drink. What? Bon appetit. What's over there? All right. Storage. <laughs> Storage. <laughs> I like how you actually uh, made that word French. <laughs> mm -hmm. And bro, you have you noticed that there is money everywhere. Oh what? my gosh! What Five thousands. Five thousand. Literally, like shared all over the place. This Why are there so often like dead butterflies in abandoned places with their wings? Spiders. Ah, they probably eat them, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, so. then I'm following you up this grand stair. Ooh. Wow. 
Yeah, this is quite cool. Huh? <laughs> Look at that lamp hanging up there too. I think it's quite heavy actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite sure you definitely do not want that to drop down on your head. And I also like the, the glasses, like the yellow mosaic glass. Well, yellow tinted, it's not mosaic. You can see how much debris there is over here and all those spider webs too. This is very modern. We could spend the night over here. <laughs> crazy, right? Yeah, very crazy. But also, I don't know. Now I definitely have to say that my heart still goes to the old and antique furniture. It's not really that this sparks my interest so much that I want to spend like minutes in every room, you know? More like, okay, mm -hmm. sweet, cool. Well, you, you know what the thing is? And that's just where we gotta be honest with is, Back in the older days, it was very um, common and normal that you would keep a lot in your home. Like modern homes, they don't have a lot of furniture and especially not a lot of decoration and features and corks, you know? Yeah, so all those details all are those missing. Details this are missing. charm, it's this just taste to a place. abstract and modern. It needs to be productive, simple, and yeah, fast paced. Functional. Functional, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the bathroom, but everything is over here. Some of the Cologne. From Mont Saint Miguel. Eau de Cologne. Mm -hmm. According to, to your face, it's not that bad. No, 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 no. Here, here, here. Oh no, it's, it's not too bad. Good, no. uh, good I will be uh, back in a minute. Um, <laughs> I'm going to give, get myself. Uh, well, unfortunately, the Explomo fam cannot uh, smell it nice or the Cologne. No, I'm just going to get. A oh, I make this video in 4D. <laughs> Yeah, if that was possible, man, <laughs> then it could also smell the fridges. That wouldn't be so nice, then. No. All right. Some flip flops. Flip flops. Dang. Again, so modern, but then the floor is just degrading. It's, it's, the floor is like, yeah, falling apart. Floor is like absolutely nope. Bro. Suits. Yeah, man. What a place, what a place. More suits. Yep. Nothing. All right, my only a pillow over there, but yeah. that's it. Look, there's even mold on the ceiling. Yeah, I see. All starting to go in, and as you can tell over here, uh, bees are uh, enjoying. Bees? Well, they actually. F oh yeah, wasps and flies. Wasps and flies, man. And look at this view. It's unbelievable, right? The yeah. View. It is. Another private bathroom attached to this bedroom. So every individual definitely had that luxury of their own bathroom. <laughs> and this one didn't work anymore. <laughs> Maybe it was a bed and breakfast. Maybe. That could be true. But then there is still a lot of personal stuff for a bed and breakfast. All right, let's head to the other bedrooms. Well, if there are other bedrooms, of course. <coughs> quite narrow. Yeah, getting quite claustrophobic in here. Well, yeah, this is just only storage over here, as you can tell, so. Let's open up this one. And then we go this way. 
We haven't... We haven't been here yet, no. No, no, no. There's the upstairs corridor. Yeah, exactly. Well, and again, a lot of books and magazines and strips. It's, yeah. <laughs> again, the toilets. I think this is a room where they did all the ironing. Their clothes. Christian Dior clothes. That's designer. Oh, damn. It's really Christian Dior. Yeah. The imagination that you pay, like, for these, you pay, like, a lot right now, these. <laughs> I don't know what's behind these doors. <coughs> Storage? Yeah, the Hoover. <laughs> Not that much. Oh, we still have this bag over here. With again, books. A lot of books. Yeah, all those pocket books. Quite cute, actually. <laughs> Dang. It's a pretty big property. Yeah. Over here, we have another bedroom with one of the first more old fashioned art that we've seen. With yeah. all those cats. This definitely gives some. Uh, and more again, a private bathroom. Yeah. Makes you think if this was not maybe a bed and breakfast. I or think something. this was a bed and breakfast, honestly, man. Mm. I mean, why would there be so much private bathrooms inside of this place? Why? And also, such a large dining room. Yeah, exactly. And a billiard or a snooker table. Well, <coughs> also does make sense. We have multiple theories right now, at least. Things fall apart, Marino. Things fall apart. Oh, and then this was a room with a little child. Yep, where they could uh, place a little child. Twin room. Yeah, yeah. Definitely starting to think more and more that this was some kind of inn. Yeah, yeah in a bar room. That's like the six bar room or something that we've seen. Yeah, now. bro, this was definitely uh, an Airbnb or at least something like that. A hotel, I wouldn't say hotel, but more private Airbnb slash hotel from wealthy people, of course. I mean, you're in a beautiful area just to take some rest and peace. Hmm. Christian Dior clothes. Yeah, they had some uh, dough. Watch and there is only one room that we've not seen yet, right? That's this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and oh, this is have, also a neglected room. Yeah, they have replaced the beds and ordered them differently where... Black mold. Yeah, there is some black mold. Yeah, in your room. back. Dang. Yeah, <laughs> don't want to get exposed without a mask. <coughs> mm. Just get out of here. Well, there is one on the floor. And we're definitely gonna explore that. Let's check it out. You can see the degradation again over here. There are more bedrooms over here. <laughs> it's pretty clear right now. We can spend a lot of times in the bedrooms, but it's literally bedroom after bedroom. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's literally bedroom after bedroom. <laughs> Look at the black mold. Oh yeah, there is also a lot of mold over there. where room for a single person and again a private bathroom attached to it yeah 
we can have <laughs> that room <laughs> I guess but yeah all right well it's pretty cool to see how the cobwebs are actually between the bed and the desk well the moreno we came to the conclusion this was definitely a better breakfast <laughs> yeah actually from the beginning i was like hmm, this looks pretty uh you know primitive so it could have been a better breakfast but now we are 100 yeah, percent sure with so many bedrooms mm -hmm. there is no way it's yeah, not yeah, yeah. and that's also a neat part where you'd be like yeah we want to find these uh, personal items but in a bed and breakfast of course you'll probably find some clothes and we only find that the desk in the office room exactly but exactly. that's also why the kitchen was so industrial yeah, yeah and, and the, the laundry big, the, the laundry the big dining table everything so it yeah. falls into its place all puzzle pieces fall together now besides that it was a very cool place yeah yeah, yeah it was it was indeed a very cool place and its location is also gorgeous mm. yeah 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 the drone shots they say enough so uh, it's they a beautiful justice. place exactly and i really enjoyed it how about you moreno i liked it it was different but when i were bedroom after bedroom i couldn't help that i got a little bit bored yeah, yeah so it was like yeah let's come to an end for it right now exactly exactly so that's what we're gonna do here if you like this much as we did then you know the drill like subscribe comment right down below ring the bell notification button if you're watching on phone right up there if you're watching on pc right down beneath there and then we will see you on our next adventure peace out